Hello and welcome to this week's Capsule Cast. I am your host Destiny, and today we have the cast for uh, week 14, and again, a, a good week, close week. And I am here with my co-host Oasis. How's it going? And today we got a very, very special guest. You know him, you love him, coach of muscle, member of the stats team. Hey Ryan, let's play. I don't, I don't think people love me, but hello. <laughs> hey, we love you, Ryan. Hey, join the stats team then. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, sorry, I do not have a memory that good for the stats team. But anyways, uh, with that, shall we get going on to the first match? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. And he here we have the first match. Budokai with the Resurrection Warriors, and this one actually, uh, th this one, I wasn't really here for the start of it, but I got to see most of the match, and from what I saw, it was actually kind of back and forth, and, uh, came down to one bar for both of their last characters, Mercenary Tao and Yajirobe. So, and, uh, of course, Budokai taking home the win on this giving Resurrected Warriors their second loss of the season, so uh, Ryan, what what do you think of this match? Uh, definitely a shock, because I think uh, I think Budokai even mentioned like they were not expecting to win, and I mean, Vegeta being Vegeta uh, in, in the match, you know, he may have only done like 40 or 50k, but he took the first character down with, or most of the way down with only taking a bar of health. So, like, it looks like Vegeta was doing his normal stompy, I'm going to get through an entire team and really lay waste. Uh, but Budokai was able to, like, bring it back with, uh, I believe it was, like, Kid Goku doing, like, stupidly well, as well as uh, Yaj. So it was oh no, really uh, nice. So Kid Goku, I believe, only did 40k. He, he oh. was able to take out a man. But then he immediately got uh, demolished. He didn't do he like he did what he needed to do for the time being, but in comparison to damage, there wasn't really that much compared to like Nom or General Tap. But again, it it didn't look like Nom had really done too much, at least from what I could remember, because he went against Vegeta again. From what but I, I mean, heard, he at least killed Vegeta, and that's he within himself. Exactly. Uh, yeah, that that is pretty good, true. But I mean, Budokai getting, you know, Budokai being the second team only to defeat Resurrected Warriors this season, uh, pretty good. But I mean, still really good showing for Resurrected Warriors with how dominant that they've been uh, this season. What about you, Picoyo? <laughs> Uh, I must say, this was very unexpected. As you were talking about, Ryan, like, Budokai has not had the best season in the world, and they definitely were not a team that expected to take down the former undefeated brain, well, former undefeated team this season. But I have to say, definitely Nom stepping up to the plate, tagging that mercenary Tao left uh, about two or three bars. Taking that NVG was a huge step towards that accomplishment. Uh, I will say though that Mercenary Tao, sure he is on defense plus like he usually is. But the fact that they gave him indignation and serious, that extra amount of damage really put really showed itself here. Because he was just pumping out Dodon rays, his beat his melee was actually on point, smacking people around the map. And he was just racking up the kills as time was going on. And then it also came to the end of AT doing what she does, spamming up B2s and family bullets. And early Goku, while he is usually, he was their best character last season, as you recall, he really has fallen off as of late. So much so that they take him beat Mel off and put him on Nom. That's probably why Nom is able to even beat and Vegeta. Who... <laughs> I'm conflicted about and Vegeta. I'm not sure about y'all, but... I'm conflicted in the fact that he's able to do 60k, or he has the ability to do 60k, but without any healing. But it makes sense since he has all the damage in the tower, you know? So I don't know what, I, don't, I can't make heads or tails of any of you. 
Well, but... it's also the fact that he's a Vegeta. <laughs> That's which true. the game like i think the game just program wise favors right. vegetas <laughs> that's fair i mean so unlike the show where favorites go to which is also i i feel like in every dragon ball video game he is always much better than Goku. same with yamcha oddly enough but no i mean if you put that and vegeta build on which or anyone else do you think that they would have same success that vegeta had right now uh nope actually really? i think there is one character that could Ooh. general Ma blue <laughs> <laughs> no uh Ma maju because they both have two they both really have like two bar barrage b2s and that's what they spam most of the time oh that's fair yeah and their key blast the amount of key blasts they have is relatively similar mm. i can see it I can see it, I can do it. Uh, and then early Goku, early Goku not closing the game out. It's kind of shocking to me. I know they are testing Yajirobe, and they kind of want to see where he stands. I'm surprised they didn't have him in the last, or didn't have any early Goku in the last slot, just in case Yajirobe couldn't cut it. And as the results show, he. Yeah. Well, he almost did. He just took a dot on right to the butt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he only, I mean, considering he had Sparking Plus, three points of his build was bent, bent towards keeping the max power. I can see why he didn't do too hot, but. Oh! So I didn't realize this. The so early Goku only had Attack plus one this week. Oh? No wonder he didn't do as much damage. Okay, okay. Now this makes sense. Now this makes sense. Yeah, now it makes a whole lot of sense, but uh, with that, shall so we I mean, on? yeah, we have freaking we have resurrected warriors in test mode, and we'll see how they do next week. All right, and moving on, we have match two: Cinema versus Namek, and this this was uh this was a slaughter if I ever had if I've ever seen one. The only... Nah, it seems pretty close. Uh, no. Are you sure? It was not. <laughs> your worst character did nearly 40k, while my best character only did 50. <laughs> okay, low key Destiny. I forgot you're on cinema. That's why I took my bet. <laughs> yeah, the... I mean, there were some good things about this week. Uh, fuck. Basha proving why she's still a melee monster even without all her normal Pataras. Just mm -hmm. just slap on attack plus two, slap on eternal life, there you go, boom. But uh also something interesting is uh we took off the Broly's ring for garlic. So for the rest of the main season, which was only last weekend, well this upcoming week, he will be in big garlic. No, I, I I think oh yeah because you're not qualified so you yeah, yeah. okay never mind <laughs> <laughs> yeah we have, that we, have, we haven't been qualified was that while. was that the reason as to why you guys ended up removing the limiter ring is because you yeah. knew you weren't qualified so it's like might as well get some free testing on the possibility of transforming garlic uh no <laughs> oh. Uh, we, we were just kind of in testing mode for the last five weeks anyway. So, we the plan was always to put Garlic, have his, have his Broly's ring off, so. That's weird. Okay, if, if you can do me a solid, can you tell me about Curlis? Because before checking the bills, I thought he was on a stand bill. Uh, so he he's... Out. He's been kind of moving around a lot. Either he will be on his defense build from last year, a more all-around build like the one from last week and mm -hmm. the one for next week, um, or he's on a spam build. And yeah, he's just been kind of like our guy that we've been trying to figure out moving around. And uh, 
Sadly, he got a very bad matchup, as most of my team does not like your person called Nuova Shenron. Hey, have I ever told you that Nuova Shenron's a bum? I see Let's that show Hobo off the street. He doesn't become a bum when he's versus my team. That's this is very true. I mean, hey, you have Fasha too. My team hates Fasha. I don't know what it is, but they cannot dodge your kicks for the life of So you have an attack plus two and eternal life? I was freaking out when I saw Fasha kick nail for like 7,000. I, like, I was like, okay, I guess this but, is the end of the match. Keeps the content going around. Uh, kind of moving into that, at least one last thing for me is that I think one of the only reasons why you guys won. Other than Nuova kind of just steamrolling through my first two characters, is that late pick will hit three ultimates. <laughs> yeah, that's ridiculous. Like, it's Hellzone Grenade, it's Ultimate Trap Shooter, and he hits three of them. <laughs> right, one for full, one for half, and one, like, top four, which is the weird part. One, one mostly got cut for, uh, for, like, nearly any damage. One guy half, which I, which did decent damage, and full did a nice twelve thousand damage, and that was fun to see. But oh, anyways, I will, I will admit, uh, we did boost versus you. Yeah. And that was, that was not intentional. It was intentional, obviously. You played down, but I thought you were boosting against me, and I didn't want to get knocked out. Uh, we 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 technically did. <laughs> oh, because <laughs> it is a it is a boost store item is the is uh, limiter smash. Fair enough, fair enough. But yeah, I I didn't mean to freaking go. He was one, the attack was one boost. Uh, Nuova and tambourine. Right. Technically, that tambourine one didn't even matter. He didn't even come out. Right, which I'm kind of upset about. I wanted to see him come, but Ray Pickle kind of stole the show. Uh, late pick low, no I mean, he usually stole. does, doesn't he? <laughs> hey, I but, mean, once again, just late pick low, late pick low. Close. But, uh, Ryan, what were some thoughts? I think, uh, I was having trouble, uh, getting into, like, the stream. Like, my computer would just keep dying. Um, but I did see, like, the very, very short end of it and i thought you guys had cheated by not listing your limiter on garlic because <laughs> i didn't realize i didn't know that you guys had boosted it off uh the fact that because i don't think garlic is benched next week i think it has to be fascia oh no no yeah it yeah, fascia's last three bench were these last five weeks so next okay. week it is uh fascia bench. so the fact that you know unless you do like a no, you. Well, you might have the Zenny for a free agent swap. Um, so unless you do a free agent swap, the fact that we will uh, see the possibility of big garlic again makes me excited, because uh, I know you guys were like heavily testing him during the off season, uh, in like a Macchio Star spam build, which would be amazing to see. Well. That would be amazing, but this, but this big garlic is he has to he's transforming to it. That big garlic build yeah. was straight big garlic. Oh, uh, good point. Well, I'm excited to see what you do with the little spice. And hopefully, y'all consider putting him on a tank for because a tank that actually spends B2 <laughs> TN is very good. So. Defense plus two, key minus one. Eternal life, because I think you guys are still allowed to use it despite having oh, no. Machio Star. Oh no, we are because Machio Star sucks. It's a healing thing. Yep. <laughs> so defense plus two, attack minus one, eternal life, dragon spear. That's uh, your build. The problem is both forms need key badly. Oh, never mind. I mean, you can always go defense plus two, then days, fighting spirit, and then like end or something. Yeah. Or defense plus two, attack. Was one then they find <laughs> spirit like body in the wow. the, well, I, the, this has become not even about the match anymore just what to do with big garlic <laughs> <laughs> i mean hey big garlic honest, that's, that's more important 
Big Garlic is a surprise that came in the match. Now we're talking about Big Garlic and the possibilities that Big Garlic has. Thus, it's relevant to the match. We, could also, we could also loan him. To who? Muscle and Royals. Don't spoil things. <laughs> I'm just saying it's a possibility. You never, you never know. Wait a minute. Who on Muscle could you even get? So, uh, Three characters. They could get Broly. They could get Bojack. They can get 13. Snuffy had brought up the idea. Oh, wait. Uh, I have not, I have not discussed it with uh, my active supporter just yet, uh, and... mainly because we're focused on this season. But like That's every good. even season, possibly do a loan garlic for one of the three, alternate the three every even season, and then, you know, something like that. Uh, and right. and on royals we can, on royals we can loan garlic for slug. And then on yes. and on Kaiju we can loan Turles or Flasha for half their characters. Well, you could also get uh, Metacooler, right? Oh yeah, and Metacooler. Oh, they yeah. have Metacooler. Yeah. I would honestly, you might want to look into the Metacooler trade, if anything. Mm -hmm. But uh, uh, anyways, uh, <laughs> en en enough about the enough about this. Shall we get moving on? So we can talk about that more in predictions. Yes, sure, match like three. That. All right, moving on. We have match three: hybrids versus GT. And wow, this one, uh, this one surprised me. But uh, because uh, it looked like GT was in the win from, or well, GT was in the lead for most of this uh, match, and then GT Goku kind of didn't. Too much and sword trunks kind of beat on pilaf and pycon at the end resulting yep. in a hybrid swing they didn't even have team gohan and they're arguably best or second best character most things he's second best really? I mean, oh kid, i don't think go kid gohan is definitely been slacking though so i don't know but yeah team I know Teen's been slacking this year, but I mean, the potential that Teen has is insane. And also, uh, Sword, Sword Trunks, ever since they found that melee build, I've been a lot more scared than when he's on spam. Yeah, his spam isn't that great. I'm, tr it's... True, but it's like, him on melee, it hurts. Because he has, he has those on. He has those unblockable key blasts. True. Also, I mean, always known as a CP law for. I mean, it's people know which. At least we got to see his ultimate. We never got oh, to yeah, see true. That. We got to see the rare P law. Yeah, P law's ultimate was great. Mm -hmm. He came falling apart and then he literally fell apart. Uh, yeah. yeah. I, I don't know. I, I've been saying this for a long time. I cannot wait. Until they change GT Goku's build, this just doesn't work. It's just, yeah, I at mean, least it, 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 yeah. it doesn't seem to work on base form. Possibly no. Super Saiyan one, but I mean, I mean they have they it just have, does not seem to want to. They write. have the potential to make him at least start Super Saiyan three and go to Super Saiyan four. Mm -hmm. That's true. I bet. I personally want them to invest in Super Saiyan 1. His B2s are better, his ults quote well arguably better for both attack and for super. So And it's closer to Super Saiyan 4, I guess. I think if they wanted to go super <laughs> for attack though, they'd want Super Saiyan 3 since just all that extra damage. I don't I mean, know that's the true. stats of it. But I can I can definitely see it for a uh... For like a super or a spam build on Super Saiyan One, I can definitely see it. Okay, here's a question for both of you. <laughs> so, so yes. when the season's over, how quickly do you think Icon can be picked up? Because this man's a Icon can't be. Uh, I don't think he can be picked up by anybody. Oh no, no I mean as, as an FA. No, oh, easily. He's easily you know top four FAs, top five FAs. Top five, bro. Who's better than Icon? He'll he'll be sought after, basically. Mm -hmm. I, I, yeah. I mean, my point was like, what FA? If he's not the first pick in that phase, who who would be before Python? Uh, Gito or Tapion? 
right now, uh, the quote unquote best FAs going off of stats are Adult Gohan, General Tao, Base Vegeta, Second Form Frieza, and then Pycon. Oh. Yeah, Pycon is Pycon's only at forty four thousand. Everyone else is forty eight or higher. There is there is one thing we haven't we haven't really used second form Frieza that much after the break. That is true. That is true. But I mean, still, the fact that second form Frieza has a forty eight thousand average after mm -hmm. being in for eight weeks that's you know relatively good. Mm -hmm. That's true. I forgot how good General Tao is. Is that 2-bar <laughs> V2, man? Really, I mean, 2-bar V2s are underrated. 2-bar V2, false courage, just good damage. Good damage. Oh, yeah, I... I agree with that. But, of course, hybrids end up beating... Man, I, I thought I, I thought Python was averaging better. That's why I asked. If I use averaging, like, 50, 60k. Really nah, you're, you're, you're thinking and Vegeta, and he's not even an FA. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I think it's primarily because most of the time, Pycon does well, but there's those weeks where he's been kind of faltering like against the muscle match. He just kind of got destroyed. That's true. Uh, dude, the last time he's faltered, the last time I remember him faltering, was against me. And that was week three or something. And ever since then, I've seen him. I thought I've seen him do like 50k or more, typically. Uh, yeah, that is most of the weeks. Since we are on the GT match, I kind of wanted to uh, touch on something, and I'm actually curious as to your guys' thoughts as well. So, GT, let me find the standings and placements, are with this last week coming up still at threat of being knocked out of playoff contention. However, they did not have Pilaf in for the first, like, eight weeks. And if you, if you look at the season from last season, Pilaf was, like, relatively good, like a 44, 45,000 character. Do you think GT would be more safe if they had Pilaf in all season. I think so. With how with how he's been doing after they put him in, I definitely think they would they would be doing better. I mean, yeah, hindsight is twenty twenty. Uh, I think initially if they put him in like week five, I don't think it would have changed much. But Considering how he's doing now, they had benched, uh, they benched Pan, or and they benched early Goku, or GT Goku, for Pilaf, kept Pan in. maybe, I think it's a maybe, I don't think it would have been any different, but I do think it's a maybe. Okay. We'll see if they make it to the playoffs, because next week is their last week, they just need a win, and they'll get it. But they are uh, benching their they're benching their strongest character. But we can talk about that later. Uh, sp Ooh. Speak speaking of, shall we? <laughs> Moving yes. on to match four. On oh, match four. Oh right. boy. Moving on to match four, we have Sentai versus Derp, the first divisional of the week, and the second to last divisional of the main season. Uh, I think uh, Sentai did have a lot of. Tags, I believe this match. I don't know. My computer mm -hmm. froze like right in the middle of this match. They have plenty of tags. Uh, I can tell you. I think they have like five tags or something. Like they had a ridiculous amount because their stats are in. Uh, they had five tags. All right. I knew. I knew they tagged quite a decent bit because both their savior users came in twice. Uh, but. Kind of, it was kind of a turnaround when uh, Hercule came and he just kept beating on uh, Jace and Ball Gohan. Mm -hmm. Though, I always say if there's one person Hercule struggles with so much, it is say a woman because he knows that that is his daughter and he doesn't want to fight his daughter. Not a daughter. That's a superhero. It's a superhero. Yeah, his daughter's a superhero. Did you not know? Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, 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 no. Who told you this? Who told you 
no, no, her, no, Hercule knows that same woman is his daughter. He doesn't know her uh, true identity. He just knows that he gave birth to well, Sable. You're doxing her, man. You can't, you can't do that to a superhero. You don't even know if what you're saying is true. But it came exactly. from the champ's mouth himself. The champ doesn't know what he's saying. Oh, that, that's fair. That's fair. That's fair. <laughs> Remember when he fought so? Yeah, and he has fun. He beat so with one hand. No, no. If that if that didn't happen, Gohan wouldn't have won. Because oh, Cell was using true. energy to slap Hercule away. That's true, that's true. Hercule really did say that. You know what? I take it all back. Hercule knows what he's doing. <laughs> but anyways, Ryan, your thoughts? Uh, it was a good showing by Sentai for their uh, potential death's door, which turned out to be their death's door. Uh, they needed this win, and then they needed to win next week with Derp losing in week 15 to get to the playoffs. And I mean, the fact that, you know, their AI being on point five times, because that's insane. Um, each character, with the exception of Birder, handling their own character, that's really good. They hit so many B2s. Uh, during the match like they have easily a uh, like 80% B2 connection rate um, it, it's just it just sucks uh, for them that they could not squeeze the end out uh, to in order to make week 15 a little more interesting and they might end up only tying their record from last season but I, I expect with what's rumored to go uh to be coming down the pipeline for sentai uh they're gonna be a threat uh in 2022 mm -hmm. oasis sorry uh so here's the thing right this is my this is the fan this is the best match in the season hands down every day Every year, I love this match. I don't know why, it just is. But I, 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 I don't know. I, I do have mixed feelings about this at the end of the day. I kind of wish Sentai won because I want I want to see them back in the playoffs. And I want to see them do well because they, they have made such a great team of fighters with how Bird has been performing, Chase. We've said this over and over. And I just want them to succeed. And having this be the nail in the coffin, as exciting as it is, if you're a Derp fan, it's kind of hard. It kind of hits hard if you're a Sentai fan. But hey, there's always next season. Uh, Derp won't have Salsa for the run back. I'm oh, sorry, Derp won't have Vegito for the run back. So maybe things will turn out better. Uh, and as we already know, Hercule is just a monster and always plays the bomb. And his B2s. But yeah, that's. Uh, we'll see if Sentai immediately jumps into testing since it is week 15 or they'll try to actually fight it out go down swinging yeah. we'll see we'll see that sadly for sadly for Sentai didn't didn't win but hey there's always next season and you can still get a good FA like a dog go on again so Moving on to match five, we have uh, Rugrats versus Androids, and uh, something interesting happened. Uh, I believe uh, stuff crashed in the middle of this match, so we had to redo it. And uh, in the, I can't remember much of the first match, but the stats here are primarily focused on the second match. Uh, yeah, uh, base, kit, <laughs> base Kid Trunks kind of doing what Base Kid Trunks is always known for. Just doing like his 85 to 90k. Mm. So the uh, in the first match um, where it ended up having to be restart, uh, basically it was two bar, uh, like right before it kind of cut out, Aureli took out 17. Aureli has two bars, 
19 comes in with two bars and then there's early piccolo um in the backup for one bar but it uh like Aureli was healing doing damage against 19 and then it just randomly cuts out so theoretically the androids could have still won that um because they definitely had tag advantage and things like that um but with the way that Aureli was kind of popping off it looks like Rugrats may have would have probably won uh the first match uh, but then, yeah, the second match ended up happening. Things ended up uh, staying the same for a bit. And then I'm not entirely sure where the exact change was. I think it was like Trunks coming in early. Oh, no. 17 just uh, got sh shut down completely. Trunk Trunks came, Trunks came in early both times. Uh, the, oh, okay. Well, change... I mean, earlier than the first, because it was still the same oh, no, seed. No, no. So something changed where I think Trunks uh, came in earlier than he did in the first seed. No, uh, what what was the little change is that in the first match, now I'm sorry to remember it now, Trunks fired a B2, 19 absorbed it, and immediately fired one back. The change was he didn't do that. Ah, so that's, and, the, that's the change. That's and the then change. 17, wow. 17 steps on the field, but then gets, like, demolished in 30 seconds by Trunks. And... Uh, yeah, that, like, the fact that Android 17, who only did, like, maybe 10k, uh, do it, uh, that kind of sealed it for, uh, the Androids. Um, uh, my, my opinion, some good stuff about this match, also, going on the 17 thing, he almost killed Trunks. Trunks was, like, a combo or a B2 away from death, and then just demolished his health bar. <laughs> Which was just in force. But uh, early Piccolo handily took out O'Reilly, so hey, let's go. Early Piccolo, let's go. Hey, hey Oasis, go. Oasis next season, early Piccolo, probably your guy, man. Hell. <laughs> Don't make me laugh, too. Bro, if we get Nail working on his build that we had versus you, early Piccolo is never coming back. I don't know, maybe King Piccolo could not do stuff. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, okay. Let me show you King Piccolo next week. He's about to slap the hype. <laughs> I, I guarantee it. I guarantee it. I, <laughs> Destiny, I've said this to you like six times over the course of the season. But I finally fixed King Piccolo. I fixed him, I swear this time. But wait, but he lost I, early Piccolo. Okay, that was a prank. That was a prank. That wasn't the right thing. That was the wrong thing. <laughs> but he couldn't uh, show up his son, man. But anyways, uh, Oasis, what do you have on this one? Uh, bro, the only thing I care about is how we kept a little, almost had it and then dropped the ball like he usually does. So yeah, that's it. That, that's literally it. typical early pickle behavior. Androids? Who the, who are they? Early pickle? Bum off the street. Hate to see it. Hate to see it. And then, you know, Trunks is literally just a small android. It's just I mean, like, he's a child, like, not an android. Nah, no. He, he, he may be a child, but he acts like an android. And he's small. That makes it... He's, it's literally two Aurelis versus the androids. How are they supposed to win? Uh... Tell me. Tell me, Destiny. They already can't deal with one really. How are they supposed to deal with two? Super 17 was Savior and the buff 4 bar B2. There we go. Ah, bro. Unfortunately, he was out of the mission. Sent to the trash can with you. Uh, unfortunately, Android's just uh, never like putting him on Savior again. Oh, oh. I, I learned that uh, Android 19 can absorb energy from S Cell Jr. Yeah. So that was something I learned. Oh, yeah, it's, it, it's because Cell Jr. Oh, yeah. and Cell aren't like androids in the game. They still actively charge. They don't passively do it. But, uh, anyways, shall we get moving on to match six? Match six? What about match six? You know what it is about match six? Uh, home team the home team won again. <laughs> Yeah, but we didn't last week, so we broke the curse. Yeah, how dare you, Cinema? You were the chosen ones. 
everyone was setting up us up, man. We lost to Rez. But uh, anyway, we have Earth Defenders versus Royals. Probably restarting that curse because they did win. They did win. Uh, this honestly was a honestly was a pretty good match for most of the time, but uh, it kind of went more towards Ed's favor as it went on. But hey, something we did get to see, a slug made it so both Gokus did end up touching the field. We also got Yardrat Goku. A always love to see some Yardrat Goku. Oh, yeah. yeah, I mean, the, it wasn't so much as, it, this wasn't really like a slaughter match, but there wasn't really like much to say. Like, uh, Videl was doing great. But then she got shut down. Like she did about 30k, and then she got shut down. Uh, imagine Vegeta, who is like the scariest person on um, Roy Royals, got demo uh, demolished as well. Uh, baby Vegeta, you know, did what Baby Vegeta does, did decently well, and Slug has been super consistent. Um, but then it. Like with the way that uh, TN has been performing with again those two bar B2s with the Dodon rays, mm -hmm. like it was kind of just after Krillin and TN each doing well over a character, it was kind of just they shut down. Yep. So, yeah, it's really not much to say, it's just kind of whoa, what you whoa, expect. Whoa. You just say there's not much to say. Boy, let me tell you. There is a four letter word here. He's a man of society. I need pictures of Tien. Okay. This man, I, okay, okay. To start off, Tien is one of the most unique characters in the league at the moment. Wanna know why? Because this man's a key tank. Bad defense plus tank, but a key tank. This man's the literal epitome of a zoner. Like, sure, we have B2ers, but they will occasionally, you know, walk up, melee, and then do their shenanigans. This man, this man will quite literally fly to the other end of the map, charge up, start firing those on ways at you. Like, there's no tomorrow. And then when you finally do get in, he'll just dodge behind you, throw you, and do it again. And that's literally what we saw here in Chris Rose. This man, just ran and do on raid and try to and rinse and repeat. Like it, it, it was, I, I if I had to choose one character that I could remove from the league, it would be Tien. That's how much he annoys me personally. Uh, that, that, that's my little tech talk. Thanks for coming. Well, I do, I do kind of have to agree there TN just kind of does what everyone hopes for their spammers just run away and spam just does it too well does it way too well and then with the eternal life even if you sure if you get on top of him he isn't the best melee wise but that's if you get on top of him and then he also has wild sets so that even when you do finally get to him he's just going to knock you away and keep shooting beams at you I guess he really did learn from General Tao on how to best evade your opponent and not take damage. And what the heck? Are, are, you, are you sure that uh, he doesn't have good melee? Because I've seen this man destroy with just melee. Oh, no, I mean, he has good melee. But it's not that it's not as if that's his primary focus, as it is for, as it's not for most spammers. So I find his more annoying because all he does is poke you. He pokes you with his two fingers, right? And then he just sends you flying away with his literal two fingers. And then shoots finger guns, finger beams at you with those two fingers. Uh, Destiny, I tell you this man is a menace to society. Even more so than Mid Goku. Sure, Mid Goku leaded my team. I still dislike TN more than Mid Goku, personally. But let's see. So, but uh, with that, is that everything that needs to be said for this one? Uh, 
Unless you want me to continue on YTM, you should be banned from the league. Nah. Hey, hey, hey. Nobody gets banned from the league. They just get Bro. FA locked. Put this man on the golf. Four TNs? Can't touch him. Impossible. Four TNs all the same build? Yes. They fuse into the TN with four arms. Maybe if you oh, actually shoot him, you'll try to do our magic. Anyways, moving on, match seven. Our second divisional of the week and our last divisional of the main season. We got Muscle versus Cold. Muscle taking home the victory here. Really just, really, at least for, for me, a good match. Just showing why 13 Broly, they're such good characters. And hey, we're, hey, we're Coombs did something and Bojack, I believe, ended the match. With that pull, with the 10k performance, but I don't think he had much health to do. But uh, Ryan, what do you think of your match? Well, let Picoyo go first, and then I'll talk about my match. There. Oh, oh, oh. This? There. All right. There. There. Uh, this was a lot. It was not as close as I thought it would be for one. Uh, I was assuming this would be at least down to like the last two, last half a bar, bar. But the lead was definitely a lot bigger. A lot bigger than that. Uh, I'm not really sure what happened, to be perfectly frank with you. Because going into this, I was assuming Cold, with their B2 game, with Zarbon kind of being just a being a freak of nature with his grabs. And he was. He was doing well at the start. But things kind of just didn't go their way. When, wait, why space? Food on defense. Oh, well, that, that explains it. Hey, what I just said. Why? I, I, think I, I, I think I found the problem. To, I think I found the answer to my problem. Uh, but yeah. Are you Remember on when? Yeah, you want defense plus three attack minus one. Hey. Not hey, keep. Hey, hey, put put it down to put it down to defense plus two and they can transform and that could work. <laughs> See, now that's an idea I can run. Hey, but hey, cool. Uh, not cool. Ryan, let me ask you a question. Yeah. Real quick. So, or well, maybe two. Hey, do you remember when you were trying to speed run to own fifteen? What happened? Yeah, to I that? <laughs> what happened to uh, that? That was a pipe dream that sadly did not come true. <laughs> oh, I want that muscle back. <laughs> not my, not uh, my muscle. Bro bro Broly and thirteen were like, nah, we got this. Nah, we want another elite performance. Here we go. Boom. With, which they did. They both got it. <laughs> yeah. Wait, what the heck? Oh, actually. Then... Uh... Oh, go ahead. Oh, uh, Ryan, yeah. I do have a question for you before Oasis yes. does his and you start. Um, how how are you liking Namek since uh, now I'm Muscle Tower this season? It's not horrible. Um, like if we need it to be a non-water map we have the possibility of it uh becoming that way with raccoon i think R raccoon. legendary broly yeah legendary broly can do it and, and i think uh bojack transform can do it but we did we did we did get to see it this week so you went from your home map to Nana's home map. <laughs> yeah that is true uh no, uh, so far it hasn't been horrible. Um, even though we've been, we have like some members that desperately need key, they've kind of been mostly avoiding the water. Or if they are charging in the water, the opponent's charging in the water at the same time. So it hasn't been horrible. I only ever picked Muscle Tower because it literally has the name Muscle in the in the map. And you also get the name Snowman. <laughs> That's right. I miss the snowman. I'm pretty sure oh. the snowman has not died at all this season. Yeah, because oh, you know why? Good. There's no uh, nobody is needing to protect the snowman anymore. Oh, we had right. a job. We had a job to protect the snowman. Hence the B2 name. Thus, every other team was like, we gotta kill the snowman, and they would kill the snowman. <laughs> and now that you're hey, not playing. Not... But uh, go ahead, away. So yeah, 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 week 15, Chief. We're all going to Muscle Tower. <laughs> uh, I can't afford to, sadly. 
<laughs> Don't worry, just have your opponents do it. Hey, yeah, uh, I, I think I'm home, so uh, hey. we're not going to be. Oh. Nope, I'm not home. So, androids. Uh, granted, this is coming out after build submission. Let's go to Muscle Tower. Hey. <laughs> Uh, Although they would probably prefer Namek because, you know, water, more water. androids versus non-androids. I, I mean, to be fair, or whatever you have an happens. android of your own. True. Kind of a monster. With a, but, with a busted form, but that's just me. <laughs> no, no, no. His busted form is fixed. Now it costs three to transform. Jeez. No, no, his busted form is that he still has Vegeta's hair, dude. Oh, okay. <laughs> ah, that explains why he acts like Ken Vegeta. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> I I will say I am I understand Cold's bench. Um they benched 100% Frieza, which mm. makes me a little sad cuz we could have seen, you know, 100% uh power versus Kakarot build sort of thing. Um but I believe that 100% Frieza is their current weakest character, so it makes sense that they would bring in their strongest. Um, Wait, you're joking. What? Yeah, no, you must. No, no joke. Uh, Hundred percent freeze is like very weak on cold right now. Oh, yeah, this dude was a monster. He was a monster early on. He's had just some like rough matchups, or just has not been doing his spam like the way that they needed him to. Um, I'm pretty sure their strongest member right now is Zarbon, actually. King Cold, sixty k. Okay, I thought I thought Zarbon was up there. Yeah, we had I don't remember who we had benched. I think we had Trunks benched. Oh so no, you, we had, you had you had Trunks benched. Yeah, um, but I'm also just shocked that they didn't spend Zenny because Wait, it is a divisional, and that's usually when people spend Zenny. And, this, um, it, and isn't this also competition for the bye week? Uh, yes, so if they had won instead of me, all they would have to do is win next week and hope we lose in week 15, and they would have gotten the bye. So, I mean, it wasn't out of their realm to get the bye week. Uh, it would have been, you know, it, various circumstances. They had to win twice, we had to lose twice. Um, but, I mean, it was still very possible. So, as to why they didn't use Zenny to possibly, you know, steal the buy away from us, I'm not sure. Maybe they were just happy that it's like, you know what, we're in, we're qualified for playoffs. We're probably not going to get the bye week anyway because our uh, last opponent is Budokai. So, you know, maybe they were just like, let's just let this one go. We'll take the playoffs. We'll fight them in the quarterfinals or something. Or... But, or they're saving it all for the next week. Yeah, because now that they lost, they're at 10, so they can do a style of the strong. Or or a uh, Broly's ring removal. Or a Broly's ring removal, that is true. Ooh, but now, um, on that was 13, nice. 13 did pretty well. Uh, Kakarot, for one, worked stupidly well. He attempted, you know, I know Broly, uh, Broly attempted four Kakarots, hit two of them and also got a saiyan soul off as well uh well the, the build's a hit or miss because i think there was one week that we had broly on a kakarot for one build and he only did melee so i think but hey uh, isn't it nice to have a character with like four ways of getting power body yes, yes. <laughs> uh and so when cooler came out a uh, little disappointed in terms of raccoon uh, cause Raccoon did get an ult off against Cooler, but it is Cooler and Cooler kind of just then demolished the rest of Raccoon. So but, hey, over, uh, overall, it was a fun match. So, hey, hey, Raccoon made it exciting. He went to Namek's home, man. Yes. Well, I, I'm not sure. Maybe they're not traumatized, but that is where he died in the show. Fair, but oh, yeah. now again, it's a Goku. That's true. Hey, Ryan, when are you getting a Goku? I legally can't have a Goku. When are you going to fix the rules so you can have a Goku? I, well, you know, I wish I could fix the rules so that I would be allowed to have Vegeta back. <laughs> but I, don't, I don't think they want us to 
turn into essentially the pseudo super saiyans because you'd you'd have you'd have three uh yeah we would have the ability of trunks broly and mid vegeta if they ever fix that rolled back um and that's a little intense i'm pretty sure some teams but granted granted earth defenders technically have three super saiyans so i mean they're basically pseudo super saiyans i'm I'm pretty sure if that if that did happen you could work out a trade for trunks and or not trade but a loan for trunks and uh vegeta Vegeta. yes yeah that could be something that could happen but more than like i think the root i think the ruling back in the old staff was even though yes vegeta does get muscly it doesn't pop as well as like broly or trunks does so that's why they took him off i mean to to be fair he gets about like as muscly as like bojack and raccoon do so yeah and all right on to our last match oh i actually have one one last question for you yes would you have loved if cold put in their fa for this yes i would (laughs) have All right, moving on. You know, put a, put him on the Kakarot for one build. Beautiful. We could have two different Brolies going at it. <laughs> S- sadly, that Broly, I know from experience, does not get power body. Oh, interesting. Yeah, ba- base form does not get power body. It's only Super Saiyan enough. But well, anyways, moving looks on. Looks like I need to find a way to break base Broly then. All right. Please, no. Please, no. <laughs> <laughs> and anyways, moving on. Match 8, we have Kaiju and Bujins, and this one was actually really close. Really, really close. Yeah. I'm pretty pretty sure this ended with... Because we got all three apes, thankfully, (laughs) because of Kid Buu. That's right. (laughs) We got all all three apes, because the Scouter and King were not in. I'm kind of surprised King has not been in all season, but... I believe that their reason is because his volley... Mm. I think his volley is a three bar for 5,000. A, th- a three and bar like, for that's the That's the one that he, like, spams the most. It might be and a two it, bar for it, 5k. It, it does leave him open a lot as well. Yes. So I think that's the whole... I think that's the reason why they have not brought in King Piccolo at all. Is, Piccolo. Uh, or sorry, King Vegeta. <laughs> I, was, uh, I was about to say, I know they both start with King, but that's clearly not... Oh, no, no, no. Okay, so it's two bars. It's two bars. Huh? Okay, <laughs> it's two bars. I, I think but, it's... like, in in comparison to, um, like, King yeah. Vegeta versus... Um, uh, it's, not, it's not Roshi, but just like king vegeta like king vegeta's volley is about the same damage as goldo's volley that's fair and and also leaves him in that pose for a while yeah because the game depending on the character loves to keep them in that b2 pose until the last ball hits a wall well then that's probably the fall of the match because he's they're usually on or so i saw him he was on Frieza's ship and since there isn't you know, any surfaces that actually canceled the animation, of course he's going to stay in that pose for a very long time. Put him in King's Castle, he probably would be able to react a lot quickly. More quickly. But, uh, possibly. Uh, yeah. no, enough but I mean, Ro- enough talk Roshi as their FA has been working for them, so... I mean, yeah, Roshi's right. a good character. You will slept on him. I slept on him. I just think uh, Ryan over here got tired of using Roshi. Oh, I did. I'm glad you're here, Ryan. Why did you drop Roshi? So we dropped Roshi for two reasons. Um, the first one was in terms of our character and having been the coach and worked with him since season seven, seven, eight, nine, ten, twenty, 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 twenty-one. So six seasons now. I've never really gotten him to be above like a 32, 33,000 average character. Unless he's in playoffs. Um, mm-hmm. Unless he's in playoffs, because then if he goes against GT Vegeta, he does 70K. So or I he don't goes understand elite. that. Or he goes elite. <laughs> or he goes elite, yeah. Um, which that I don't understand either. Um, 
and so we dropped him because with having used him for so long we've never gotten him to just be consistent if he could have just been like here's thirty-seven thousand each week probably would have kept him because thirty-seven thousand is almost a character it's consistency and even though we could have him on literally the same build week after week there'd be weeks where he does you know 35 there'd be weeks where he does 12 there'd, there'd be a week he does 40 and then 15 and it's like come on uh also the triple health knockback didn't really help <laughs> <laughs> and then lastly um i think i've mentioned this before during just like regular weeks is picking up raccoon has actually made the league more exciting for me because this was gonna more than likely be my last season as a coach uh just because you know it's the same team i've been working with for so long um but picking up raccoon has kind of given like a fresh feel especially as a character that we've never had before so you, you get to expand your horizons yes and now theoretically i have the potential possibly maybe to get the last member of the team that we've never had not counting spopovich of frieza so, oh no. yeah <laughs> just yeah. imagine two I don't. I b1 don't. spams no. on the team for a season i, 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 <laughs> I refuse mean, i mean even if it's not like a trade you can still loan him so yeah exactly that does enable it uh, can we can we stop this please and what? and with supposedly what's going to end up happening with sentai in the next season again i'm not saying anything specific um, maybe theoret theoretically we could loan with them at some point and so and again as said earlier there's always the loans with uh, my team uh yeah and then the loans with your team i think the only team that we can't touch um through loans is bujins uh we could touch gt with a three-way trade though so. I think I think you could touch Fujins with a three-way trade. I don't know. Uh, to get Spopovich, we have to give uh, somebody to Budokai, which nobody's been given to Budokai. Spopovich was never resurrected. And I think that's really the only place that he belongs. So I don't think we could trade for Spope if we wanted to. Or, or you could somehow... Or if you somehow got someone for a uh, for royalty, uh, then you could tr then you could trade that to royals. They trade the Bora, and then you get spoke. Yeah, something along those lines, basically. Yeah, if you somehow got someone for royalty, which is either garlic or 100% percent mm Mhm. Uh, but no, uh, Roshi like has been working really well for them for Kaiju. So back to you know actual match. Like right now, he's the MVP. Which is shocking to say. <laughs> and, uh... Wow, we spent so long on, uh... On, the, on just talking. We didn't even yeah. talk about the actual match. But, uh, one thing I wanted to say is that we did see all three ape transformations. And, uh, Bujin's won by a key blast. Yep, like, 500 health points for both. For Kaiju both. had wanted no transformations, but then Kid, Blue blew, Kid Boo blew up the map. Kid Boo decided, uh, yeah, no. Nah. It, it was a fun match and just intense all the way down to the very end, basically. Oh, if, oh! If you were in VC when the last part of that match happened, everyone was dying of laughter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was a laugh fest in VC during that time. I can. What about you, Oasis? Not gonna lie, Bardock's face encapsulates my exact feelings of this match. It's like, what the hell just happened? <laughs> what is this? What am I watching? All oh, the rest of y'all look like you over here. Chuckling, laughing, because the, the 500, 500 key blasts ended in the mm -hmm. I mean, don't get me wrong. So here's the thing, right? I ain't Kaiju in playoffs. And if they keep losing, they lose next week, not going to be in playoffs. I can't have that. I need to run them. I need to run the back, right? 
I need the salty run back versus Kaiju in the playoffs. So, I'm sorry, GT. I love you, Zal. But Kaiju's gotta make it in. And I don't like the fact that Door Guys did what Door Guys did. Or does what Door Guys do, I guess. And wins with 500 <laughs> HP remaining. <laughs> on on the, his supposedly worst character, by the way. On his supposedly worst character. Exactly. But, uh, That's, anyway. that, that wasn't in the script. But uh, I guess since we're talking about it, shall we move on to the predictions? Yes. Certainly, yes. Alright. Well, here we have the predictions. The one near the uh, Elisa we know of the week and the uh, predictions. Yeah. Uh, for the first match, we have Sentai versus Royals, and I'm going to have to go with Royals. Well, fine. Because I, I, honestly, I honestly think the Royals are the, the more consistent of the two. Bro, what do you uh, mean? I, I can agree with the consistency. I would also say that um, Royals technically have um, more to fight for in this. Because Sentai's eliminated, they can't make it in. Royals are in... And if they end up winning their match, they get home field advantage for uh, the qualifying round of the playoffs. Uh, so they I th- are fighting for something. I think even if they lose and regrets win, I think... Nope. Nope. Mathed it out. It's literally in the stat spreadsheet uh, ch- channel. Uh, if Royals win, they get the home field advantage. Uh, if they both... Lo- if Royals and Rugrats lose, Royals get the home field advantage. But if Royals lose and Rugrats win, Rugrats will get the home field advantage. Okay, that's fair. Yeah. That's a whole lot of... They're both and, in the playoffs. And after last yeah, week, I'm pretty sure no one wants Rugrats home field advantage. Yeah, so... Uh, Royals are fighting a little bit more, and I think they have Zenny compared to... Yeah, Sentai has two. Royals have four so i mean you know a possible boost on each team royals with theoretically two boosts possible um i mean i think they might end up wanting to get the win uh just to get that home field advantage because that can really make or break uh the first round so i'm gonna have to go with the royals hey i'm going with sentai i'm going with sentai sure jace is out for this week sure he was probably the best character, or second best character on Sentai, but I don't care. Sentai's gonna pull it out. Just you wait and see. I mean, Royals are benching their best character, Majin Vegeta, so... Yep. Wait a minute, I thought the best character was Metacooler. Oh. No, no, no. Uh, Metacooler is uh, a little above average. Majin Vegeta had that elite performance again and is at a 54,000 average. Uh, fair enough. So I, mm, no, wait, oh, I, I think that might change it for me. Actually, like Jace isn't their best character; he's in the middle of the pack. But even, even with like the four Zenny that they have, I don't. I think Sentai could do it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually switch my vote because I forgot Let's to look go. at the mentions. Let's go. Sentai's Destiny gonna Wolf Sentai's gonna go four and eleven and tie their record from last year, so they're Sir. consistent at least. Uh, yeah, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm not changing my vote. <laughs> <laughs> Damn! All right, two one to Sentai. Yeah. But moving on, we have match two dynamic for Cybrids and the uh, Ryan. If you'd so please, what are the last benches needed for both teams? Nuova and Sword Trunks. Sword Trunks four. 45,000 Nuova, 49,000, so basically even on that sort of front. All right. Unless the one thing happens that uh, hybrids and Namco have been agreeing about, which is the late pick, a little old adult, uh, Ultimate Gohan star, same build, and then have that rematch. Oh, yeah, because that, w- that was a thing last season. Because yeah. they were in the same division. They were in the they same started- division. They started the match, had basically the exact same build with, like, one Patara difference. 
No, I thought and it was an one of them just crushed the other. Yep. So here's the thing: the main season, it was a bit different. I think Piccolo had defense for us, but a turn like serious, and but don't go on. Ultimate goal and kick their ass in the main season. But in the post season, that's when they had the same build except for the AI, and like Piccolo just crushed it. <laughs> and ever since then, uh, enemy and I had just been like taking jabs at each other, and yes. We will see the re the run back of me and Gohan versus Slate so, before. I do think I might still have to give it the higher bids since primarily in the world boost out in Teen and Ultimate Gohan are in, but hey if that ha Ooh. if that happens again then Namek will probably take it. Bro, first of all, Nova's not even our best character in our head. He's not even our second best. So that's one. He, he's still a spam threat. Nuova is your second best. Learn to read stats. <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> okay, first of all, Ryan, I'm a Yu-Gi-Oh player. I can't read, okay? Second of all, <laughs> second of all, is the ball. And I will forever say that. I don't care what he does. But yes, Namek's gonna win. Simple as that. You've already, you've already beaten them twice in a row. In What's the third time? I, I'm, Ryan, I'm gonna have to go with um, Namek, sadly. Right, uh, late, <laughs> late Piccolo, uh, at least this season, has like such a better average than Ultimate Gohan. So I could see Ultimate Gohan going down. Kid Gohan being weaker than Nail, uh, and Kid Gohan also just having that innate defense minus for being a child. And with Teen not even popping off at all, um, I think that Namek will end up getting it. Let's go. This man gets it. Right, so we have 2-1 uh, two, two, going to Namek. Moving on to the third match, we have Cinema and Kaiju. We know Fox's match, but who's Kaiju? Master Roshi. Ooh. Uh, I will... Uh, <laughs> Before we start off, of course, I'm voting for my team, but uh, as, I, as I said earlier in this cast, we'll be talking about defense in the predictions. We're putting, since Gogeta is in, he's going back on defense, eternal life, fighting spirit, and he's starting. Mm. Yeah, hey, Destiny? Mm-hmm. I need you to lose this one, just for me. Pop. I mean, <laughs> why? I, I'm gonna need you to lose this one, real quick. I'll pay you back later. Don't don't worry, man. I just need you to take one for the team. I mean, with the uh, with how Kaiju's teams are being, hey, we we might win, we might not. But I mean, even if they go eight, we have two people with an H Connor for it, so that's fine. That's true. That's very true. I mean, I personally hope Kaiju wins. Like I said earlier in the cast, I want that salty run back, so I need them to win here. So I, I'm going to be pretending on Destiny to get that point across to his team when this is all over. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, man. Uh, they both have the same Zenny. Kaiju's benching their best character. Uh, I don't think. Cinema. I th I don't think Fosh is Cinema's best character. Technically, our best. Oh character. nope. Cinema is the best character. So they're both benching their best characters. Yeah, exactly. Uh, they both have the same Zenny. So I mean, that kind of washes itself out. Uh, it. However, Kaiju does have a more consistent uh, average amongst their characters. Um. Whereas Cinema's range from like 28 to 43,000, all of Kaiju's is around 38 to 41,000. So more consistent on Kaiju. Um, and with Kaiju needing this win, I think they're going to try and optimize as best as they can without having Roshi in. Um, and I know Cinema's kind of doing the test with the Garlic Jr., and we don't know how that's really going to go. So I think logistically it makes sense that Kaiju might pull out the win. All right, so it's 2-1 going, going Kaiju. Honestly, I can see it. Um, moving on, we have match 
for Bujin's Rugrats. Bujin's Evil Boo, Rugrats, Aureli. So, Ooh. one of Aureli's the, the second best. Evil Boo is second weakest. Excuse me, what? Evil Boo is underspoke. Right. Are you misreading your own? Uh, do, no, do, do, I am not. Majin do. Boo, 28K. Gohan Boo, 47. Kid Boo, four, 57. Spoke, 41. Evil Boo, 39. To, to, be, to be fair, I think what helps Spoke is that 80K week he had for sister. But I'm still getting that is for Bujins. Because, my God, if their team gets going, they get going. That's true. Especially with Cell Jr. Like and Cybermen on Rugrats. It's kind of on and off with those two. But we could <laughs> see a potential go tanks. We could see go tanks. I doubt we and, yeah. and with G Rugrats needing the win in order to get home field advantage, and they are, you know, uh, the runner ups from last year. Hmm. So who, who are you voting for, Destiny? Oh, I already said Bujins. Oh, you're saying Bujins? <laughs> yeah. Bro, this uh, is another playoff, uh, playoff run back. Yeah, I mean, with them benching their second weakest character, they have more Zenny, Aureli being a monster. Granted, but there's Gotenks. Mm -hmm. But I mean, Goten, Goten himself hasn't yeah. really done anything on the weeks that he's been in. Like, his average is based off of Gotenks, basically. I think I'm going to go like with Bujins. I think I'm underestimate Jotun for one. Two, I, really, I know for a fact I really can care for Jotun if she is given the space. Not space. If she doesn't give Jotun the space, she will care for Jotun. Mark my words. That is why I'll go for I'll go Aureli. Wait, Aureli's out. Yeah, Aureli's so, out. Hold, hold on, hold on. You're basing your choice on the fact that Aureli could tear through Gotenks despite oh, them not. being on the same team. No, yes. if you were thinking about Gotenks, <laughs> no, if you were thinking about Gotenks, boo, maybe, but... No, I, so, completely ignore what I just said. I'm drunk. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Bujins will probably take it. And I need to talk to Dorgard about Evil Boo's performance. Cause I think it's mostly because he's been on cleanup. I hope so. Because this is unacceptable. I think the one time he wasn't on cleanup, or well, the two times it was versus Derp, and uh, he started against Kaiju. He started? Okay. Alright. Dorgard, we need to talk. We need to punch. Anyways, that's 3-0 to Bujins. Next, we have Dirt versus ED and Ryan. Uh, Earth Defenders, mid Goku. The mid tier character basically could be the third best, so literally middle. Uh, Supreme Kai, who is in the middle. So. Okay, so both the middle characters. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to have to say. I think ED will take this because Mid Vegeta still I think he's still doing decent. We've seen what TM can do, especially last week. Um, and Krillin's kind of been a decent starter for them. The only problem I think is uh, and Goku, but not to knock Derp, Hercule, Salsa, kind of a deadly deal on their own, right? Mm -hmm. Plus, with a base Vegeta probably starting, it could end up in their lead for a bit but i mean we've seen ed crawl back from lead, from uh leads against them before so yeah i think i'm gonna have to go with uh ed they have every character that they have on their team is over a forty thousand average uh, um they have tn who has just been a freaking monster um Derp does have, you know, Vegito, Herc, and Salsa, which are a great combo uh, themselves. But I think with the uh, more consistent average of Earth Defenders and the fact that Earth Defenders have a little bit of Zenny that they could uh, spend on the match, 
I think I'm gonna have to give it to Ed. See, this one's a tough one because as much as he is in men's society, Hercule is nearly at that same level because of how much damage the present bomb do. And with as Brian was mentioning, Salza is a great partner to have behind him because them tagging in between each other can give there so much potential to come back. Uh, there's just so much damage at behind that combo. And I don't know. I, I even, yeah, like I said, as much as TN is able to space out against people and spam to his heart's content and just stay alive, I feel like Kirk will force all of them. Or, or Vegito can definitely reach him and take him out before he actually does too much damage. So I would give it to her this Alright. So 2 1 going to ED. Um, next match. Match, uh, match, match six. Uh, this is not just because of the home field advantage thing. Um, I'm going to have to give it to uh, Budokai, since I think their team's just been a lot more consistent than Cold. So here's here's the thing. Before you settle that in, Budokai has not had three benches for both Android 18 and General Town. So both of them are going to be out. One of them is going to be on the FA bench. So their team literally is going to be Yamcha, Kid Goku, Nam, and Cyborg Tao. And Cold. And Cold is going to uh, get rid of Monster Zarbon. So Mecha, 100% cooler, and King. In terms of an average, Cold has them beat dead to rights there in an average. And Cold has 10 Zenny with Budokai only having two. Okay. Uh, I think if Cold uses the Zen, Cold will win, but I, I still think Yamcha, Nam, and Kikyoku are still at least decent enough to take Cold out. I don't know about Cyborg Tao, though, so with that, I'm going to have to... Cyborg Tao has an average of 21,000. Was he only in for like two weeks? Uh, he was in for minimally, uh, four, because he was benched in week six, so... Okay. Well, I... Well, then I'm going to have to give it to uh, Cold. No, yeah. Just my vote. Uh, I want Budokai to win because, haha, <laughs> match six. Haha. <laughs> but I mean, the four characters that Budokai is going to have versus the four characters that uh, King Cold's going to have. Uh, King Cold outclasses their average damage by like 30,000. So an entire character. Mm -hmm. Plus on the, on the fact that they have 10 Zenny to spend which could be a style of the strong two stat boosts with like a latent energy or a stat boost with two of the minor stat boosts. I mean, I, I think cold has this one. I mean, you had me what at a hundred percent free between that then. Sure. He hasn't been the most consistent, but that much, the power body that is essentially on all the time versus a no, most of the time, physical melee team is a disaster in the making for said melee team. What is Kid Goku and Yamcha and Nam supposed to do against someone who's always in max power mode and has power body with it and then can just ult you in your face and he tries to approach or beat you with it? So, yeah. that alone, I would say, puts cold in the wing position. Hmm. Alright, so that's 3 0 to go into cold. Next match, match 7, we have Androids versus Muscle. And uh... Android 19 is being benched. Mm -hmm. uh, or is he on the FA bench? Uh, no, he's not. 17's on the F. Super 17's on the FA bench. So Android 19's being benched. And Broly is being benched. Ooh. Uh. I think I will have to give it to uh, Muscle, because uh, I mean, does uh, both? How much does any of this both team have? Uh, Androids have seven. Muscle has three. Okay. So Androids have a advantage in Zenny, and they're bringing their strongest team 
whereas Muscle has to bench their middle character. But I mean, that middle character did have an elite performance. So, I I mean, with how thirteen and Trunks and Bojack can perform, I'm still going to give it to your team, especially since Bojack. uh androids are eliminated so they might be doing like a one week testing thing who knows uh picoyo uh so personally i give it to android i not to slight you ryan but sure the androids have not had the best season but i do feel like them being in your face for most of the match will be detrimental to your team. You may have your own android, but having three, three is better than one, I guess. That is true. Uh, true. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, this doesn't come out until what, Friday? Uh, yeah. yeah. Okay. And you guys are like sworn to secrecy on anything that I say? Oh, I, I, have, I never tell anyone stuff that goes on here. All right, cool. Um, so 13's going on the FA bench. Chi Chi's coming in. Excuse wait, me. Wait, 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 excuse me. Uh, uh, can I change my vote? <laughs> <laughs> Too late. So, uh, yeah, we are basically going at them with uh, our weakest team, our weakest three plus trunks. <laughs> uh, can, can, can I change my vote? <laughs> I mean, you can. So I'm giving it to Android. <laughs> All right. <laughs> That is fine. I have a I have a feeling as to who they're going to start with. Um, I have a feeling they're going to start with 16 because they, they usually, usually do. do. Or they're going to start with 17. And from what from my experience of having fought ED and uh, Budokai, which have been fucking terrifying, uh, two bar B2s that go really fast hurt, especially heavy melee characters. And, and, and hey, just... And, and not just those, just not those uh, two bar B twos. Those uh, those uh, double ball three bar B twos, which he normally gets really fast. Yep, because you know he's allowed to have high, uh, high tension. Um, but I believe Chi Chi has a two or a three bar B two that she can get to very quick. So we're gonna start with Chi Chi. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely think that could make or break things, since if Chi Chi gets. Uh, hit with any B2, yeah, I think she'll get right. annihilated. Yeah, I mean, if she gets hit by a B2, she's gonna end up, uh, you know, getting smacked. But I mean, we're giving her um, uh, a lot of key for her to spam and hopefully shut down a melee character. What, what like, that's be, the goal. What will Trunks be on? Uh, he's gonna be on like a mixed build. Okay, gotcha. And then uh, Bojack's on. Uh, something that he hasn't been on before and then raccoons on something he hasn't been on before so we're we're because we are safe we have our um you know our bye week we don't really need any more wins so it's like all right let's see how chi chi does as well as give a test to two potential uh actual builds all right, all right. so i so i mean obviously i want us to win realistically i think androids will win but, you know, I'm still going to vote for myself. <laughs> so it's 2-1 uh, two one, two one go to the Androids. And hey, thank God that this is coming out on Friday. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, this, this would be either out on Friday or like Saturday morning. Okay, good. Ooh, our last match. Yep, our last match is going to be a really good one, actually. Resurrect Warriors and GT. Who's uh, going to be out for both? Base and Vegeta is going to be out. Uh, so that is uh, Resurrected Warrior's best character. Mm -hmm. And then GT is going to have out Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. And then in like... terms of Zenny, uh, GT has 4, Rez has 7. I'm going to have to give this to Rez. As much... Wait. Yeah... Uh... As much like, as GT I want GT needs to win. The win. As much as I Ooh, want GT, GT needs to win. the win. And they need uh, to win. Because if they don't get the win, they do have the potential of getting knocked out. Mm -hmm. So, you know, they're going to use that Zenny to the best of their ability. Uh, and with them knowing that base 10 Vegeta is going to be out, I can guarantee Majub's going to be the starter on his defense plus two eternal life. 
and fighting spirit spam or nation spam. Yeah. Um, because like those are their only two starters. So I think I mean, they're definitely no, planning no, uh, around there's, res. There's early Goku. Oh, I don't no, think no, early Goku, Goku started. No, 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 no he started like once. He he's started before, so he has potential. No, no, no. Yeah. The only other starter is going to be uh, Asia. Because he's the only one without Sage. They they have a and lot I mean, of people who love starting. Yeah, not counting Yajirobe, uh, because Yajirobe really hasn't had much in terms of like activity. Mm -hmm. Early Goku Majub, Aider are forty seven thousand average and higher. GT's been struggling a bit. Um and I mean uh most of them are consistent with the exception of GT Goku. Um, as much as I want GT to win because I know that they're fighting for their playoff position, I don't think that they're going to be the third team to be Resurrected Warriors. So I'm going to go with Res. All right, that's great. Oasis. Yeah. I mean, I like I said about Kaiju, I need GT to lose. And uh, yeah, and and cool. Resurrected Warriors is the team to team to do it. So. So uh, before before we head out, why exactly do you want GT to lose, bro? Because I need them out of the playoff. Why why Kaiju. why do you want okay. to fight Kaiju over GT, bro? Okay, did you not? Okay, did you see my division versus Kaiju? Uh, no. Mess. Okay, that was I was supposed to win that, hands down, <laughs> no question, no debate. And then what happened? The boost came in. Roshi did Roshi stuff. <laughs> lost. It's all your fault, Ryan. Actually, I blame you for this. All right, fine. You blame me. I don't care. You gave him Roshi. I lost. But now, now, no boost. No, nothing getting in the way. I'm going to sell this speed. I'm going to show him that Namekians are stronger than Saiyan. And one old man. And one old man. <laughs> one old man. And apparently, the old man is stronger than the Saiyan. Let's go through. Yeah, that's why GT just step, step aside this time. This is... So, uh, so three L going to R W and right. that we come to the end of the capsule cast for the second final week of the main season, and yes. we have a link to the uh, to the Twitter, the Discord, and to the website down below. You can come hang out with us on the Discord. And uh, Ryan, what else can they do if they join the Discord? You can join the stats team. Oh my God, I want to talk to you all about that. So if you like numbers, join the stats team. It helps people like learn about characters and see like what they're good at and stuff. And you know, it, it helps out. And, yeah. uh, and with that, I was your host, Destiny. I'm your co-host, Oasis. And I'm in fucking everything, Ryan. I'm the coach. <laughs> I'm stats head. I'm a commentator. Let's go. And we'll be seeing you for week 15.